I spent way too much time tracking, simply for it not to improve my aim. But during that time, I made some key discoveries I'm hoping you'll be able to use today. Tengo solo una medali, e, 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 oh, li sparo, mi spara, vivo solo di legali, e, 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 yo. I'm just gonna say it as it is. Tracking by itself will not improve your aim. That's what I found after almost a thousand hours of aim training in different aim trainers. The reason it took such a long time for me to figure these things out is because tracking itself gives off the idea that you're improving when you're simply improving how your aim looks. You have to understand this. Aim in itself is all about consistency. Doing things like dynamic clicking, static, will actually benefit you in building better mouse control for all games. While something like tracking is made to fine tune the smaller mistakes you make in your aim, thus making your clips look smoother, but not necessarily your aim better. A really clear example of where I'd recommend something like precision tracking is to a Valorant player since it helps more with micro-adjusting than the traditional way does. I've spoken about this before, but precision tracking means you're tracking smaller dot-shaped targets in a smooth motion. This will force you to micro-adjust a lot more than your average micro-shot scenario. Tracking actually requires focus on where your flaws lay, and is really useful no matter what game you play but it requires you to know where your weaknesses lay and attacking those weaknesses rather than playing it blindly just because. Tracking at its core is all about the details. It's about fine tuning your aim rather than using it as a foundation to build upon your aim. I'd much rather keep my overall foundation to things like poke ball, dynamics, and static. If you want two playlists that'll cover both your foundations and all the tracking details you'll ever need, check out this video here or the recommended playlist tab on Discord. Try to look at your aim objectively and see what you're lacking. You either track smoothly and react smoothly or you're lacking in one of those. Try to look at any of my VOD review videos or consider dropping by our Discord and asking a couple of questions. I'll leave you with this last notion. Tracking smoother means tracking cleaner, but tracking cleaner doesn't mean tracking better. See, I can often get a lot of kills and top frag in most games, but I don't always make it look pretty. That's because my aim foundation is there but it's not as skilled as those people who have honed the details of their tracking and that's how i believe it should be used to spot the details you're lacking on